Hello everyone, Nikki here, and today is Meet the Artist. I have my co-host here, my co-host here, Angel, and he's gonna be asking me questions today. This is a picture of myself. If you haven't, if you don't know from my other channel, um, Angel One Love vs Hate, but you do now. So let's get this started. I'm going to be color doing a second coloring of another uh, project that's I'm posting a video on later today, and. I'm going to be answer, answering questions, so let's enjoy it today and have fun. Go for it. Okay. Uh, how would you describe your art style? I would say random, but at the same time, not as much, due to the fact I like drawing many different things. So, kind of random, kind of not. I would say I'm more a surreal slash extra cartoonist. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, it's more or less whatever comes to mind I try to draw. Okay. I also do graphics, but that's... I, I, like, I like doing lots of things. Okay. Okay, what else? So, second question. What inspired you to do art in the first place? My second grade teacher. My second grade art teacher. Which... As a surprise, before that, um, I, no, my third grade art teacher. Um, before that, I used to do a lot of writing, poetry mostly, and mm -hmm. short stories. And he inspired me to do my he, him and my cousin, who were who likes drawing, inspired me to to go after art too. So I like creating. So it's like it was just the next step. Okay. Cool. All right, what's the most fun part of drawing for you? The process. Because even though it gets me frustrated, but it's it's kind of fun to see the art piece, like, being made and what you can do with it. And then the best part, after everything is done, it's like, oh, my God, I finished it and it looks great. Sometimes it's either... Oh my god, it looks great, or oh my god, it looks awful. But most of the time, I love it when it looks awesome. Okay. Next. <laughs> um, what's the biggest challenge of drawing for you? Um, most of the time, it's execution. Due to the fact that some days it works out for me, some days it doesn't. And I can't always get exactly what I want and want to go. So it's, it takes me a couple of tries over and over and over again to get it. So mostly his execution would be my weakness. Okay. So uh, how long do you usually spend drawing? Between 30 minutes to close to three or four hours, depending on the project, depending on what I have to do, and depending on what I'm trying to go for. Okay. Uh um, you said your weakness in drawing. What would you say is your strength? Coming up with ideas. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, what do you think was your best art piece and why? My best art piece would be my favorite, actually, which is, um, I call it, it's called Dream. It's, the funny thing is that, um... They was actually due for it for my graphic design class, which was typography two. We had to make a magazine mm -hmm. spread and based out of comp based off an article. The it mm -hmm. was about the subconscious mind, and <laughs> I had to scrap it due f to the fact that it didn't really go with the whole um, article. So, but it turned out to be a great art piece instead. Oh, awesome! Uh, what's the biggest advice f f you would give to people who want to be into art? Practice. Even though you, it looks awful and crappy, practice anyway. Mm -hmm. Practice right, makes yeah. perfect. Awesome. So, um, what anime specifically influenced you? Um, like, like early, early 2000s, not late. 1990, late 90s, late 1990s, which is usually on Toonami mm -hmm. most of the time. 
And if not on Toonami, it was um, KSWB. So, like, car capture, so, uh, car capture um, Tichimaru, Yu Hakusho, Dragon Ball Z, um, what's it called? What's it called? Sailor Moon, stuff like that. And also, like, um, also, like, what's it called? I also like cartoons, and one one of my favorite inspiration will be the original Teen Titans, the original Powerpuff Girls. Okay, cool. Uh, what made you want to make videos? Um, I like I I try. It's more of the fact that I need that I like to well, hold on. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's more of the fact that I wanted to look back at how I made my art pieces to figure out what I can improve on. How I could have done things differently and stuff like that, and I just want to show, share my process. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's technically two questions, but it's the same question. Mm-hmm. The first one is, where did Nell CC come from? Nell CC is ac- Nell is actually my initials, which is N E L, Nikki mm-hmm. Nickaudi and Lisa Liriano. and my and CC is actually short for capture creativity. Okay, and same thing, but with the first account. My first account, Angel One Lovers Tape. Yes. It was actually more a random words, words. That's all. So, so top of the top of your head type thing. Yeah. Well, actually, no, not even just me putting words together. Oh, okay. Uh, were you ever nervous when you first started recording? Oh hell yeah, I was uh, super nervous. Hmm. Like, how would you describe your earliest videos? Uh, my first video was actually a slideshow of things that I like. Uh, the second one, the then I got into recording my face and doing uh, a segment called Bullshit Talk. You know, I kind of, like, don't know where that went, but it was just, it was pretty nerve-wracking, to be honest. It was pretty nerve-wracking. Okay. So, uh, what made you separate the two channels? I wanted one channel specifically just for my art, so I could, so it would be easy to search for. And I don't have to put into many folders, so it's more accessible. Oh, okay. Um, you say that you're like a writer as well to some degree. Mm-hmm. Uh, what type of stories do you usually write? I write poetry and I write fantasy stories, or articles depending on my mood. Oh, okay. So just like your art, is there any like um, things that you wrote that you want to redo? Um, I, just my art, like, I finished a full book. I'm just, like, right now in the process of finishing the cover and the inside and editing so I could f- put it on a- Amazon. And then I'm in the process of writing the second book, which took me about 11 chapters in, and I had to, like, redo a lot of work into that one. Oh, okay. So, um... Which of the two do you prefer to draw, abstract or cartoons? Um, more abstract work and stuff like that, cause I like I don't I don't like to be straightforward sometimes. I like to be a little bit. I wouldn't say creative. I would be more like I like to mix things up. Oh, awesome. Uh, the last question, who would you say is your favorite artist? I don't have a favorite artist. It's mostly due to the fact that I don't like, I tend to pick out work. So it's like, I can't have a favorite artist or else I will try to copy them. I like having multiple, multiple favorite styles and inspiration, but I don't like having painting artists. Oh, um, that's pretty much all of them. (laughs) Well, that's great to know. Any random question you would like to ask? Um, that's pretty much all of them. Okay. I got them. Well, I'm going to finish this wonderful piece at, um, and speed through it. So I hope you guys enjoy. And hopefully you get to see the rest of this. Thank you for your time. And we'll be gone for the moment. Till the next video. Yeah. Like, subscribe. Yoo-hoo.